Hi all. Welcome to the demo of Linux Server Management, using Ansible. In this video, we are going to demonstrate the automation of Linux server management tasks like OS patching, application installation, application upgrade, and user creation using Ansible. The complete process is orchestrated through the Jenkins pipeline. The tools, which are used in this Linux server management are GitLab, is used for source code management. Jenkins, for continuous integration. Ansible, for configuration management. Let's explore the workflow of Linux server management for CentOS 7, and Ubuntu 18. Jenkins's job will trigger the Ansible playbook in the Ansible controller, which will perform the below tasks. Application installation. Application upgrade. OS patching, and creating a user on Linux machines. Now, let us see how the Linux server management happens via the Jenkins pipeline. Here, we are using two fresh CentOS 7 and Ubuntu 18 machines. We are going to install the Python pip on these Linux machines. Here we can see the Python pip was not installed on CentOS 7 and Ubuntu 18 machines. Now let us trigger the Jenkins pipeline job for application installation. The Jenkins pipeline job is executing the Ansible playbook and Ansible controller for both CentOS and Ubuntu machines, which will perform the Python pip installation on the Linux machines. Now, the Jenkins pipeline has been completed. Let us check the Linux machines. Here, we can see the Python pip was installed in CentOS 7 and Ubuntu 18. Next, we are going to upgrade the Python pip on these Linux machines. Here, we can see the Python pip was in the older version on CentOS 7, and Ubuntu 18. Now let us trigger the Jenkins pipeline job, for application upgrade. The Jenkins pipeline job executes the Ansible playbook and Ansible controller for both CentOS and Ubuntu machines, which will perform the Python pip upgrade on Linux machines. Now, the Jenkins pipeline has been completed. Let us check the Linux machines. Here, we can see the Python pip latest version was installed in CentOS 7, and Ubuntu 18. Next, let's check the OS patching. Let us check the OS update history on these machines. There are no recent updates that happened on these machines. Now, let us trigger the Jenkins pipeline job for OS patching. The Jenkins pipeline job executes the Ansible playbook and Ansible controller for both CentOS and Ubuntu machines, which will perform the update and security patching of Linux machines. Now, the Jenkins pipeline has been completed. Let us check whether the Linux updates have occurred or not. Here, we can see the Linux update executed on the CentOS 7 and Ubuntu 18 machines. Next, we are going to create a user on these Linux machines. Here we can see Ansible user is not available on CentOS 7 and Ubuntu 18. Now let us trigger the Jenkins pipeline. For user creation, the Jenkins pipeline job executes the Ansible playbook and Ansible controller for both CentOS and Ubuntu machines, which will create the Ansible user these Linux machines. Now, the Jenkins pipeline has been completed. Let us check the Linux machines. Here, we can see the new user Ansible was created in CentOS 7 and Ubuntu 18. This is the complete workflow of the automation of Linux server management for Linux servers using Ansible. For more information, Please visit www.zippyops.com. Please follow us on social media, links are available in the description. Like, share, and comment on this video. Subscribe to our channel for the latest happenings on DevOps. Thank you for watching this video.